Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play 358 over two days. Last time, we went to the final new world of the game, Neverland, making sure to bring the nimble gear that I have been praising for so long. In this episode, we're going to use the prestige gear instead of the gear I've been using previously, the gear which I actually am forgetting its name right now. And we are also equipping Glide. So, let's move that and put on Glide. If I had Glide when I was doing the Wonderland emblem collecting, I would have been able to fully complete that mission. But unfortunately, I didn't. But with Glide now, pretty much we can do as it says, glide around the map. And it's extremely fast and very beneficial to get Glide and have it equipped. It's one of the best abilities in the game for dodging attacks besides dodge roll. In fact, I would say it's better than dodge roll. So, we can now high jump and glide, so let us be on our way because Syax doesn't want us here. So, we have to eliminate the dual blade. This one gives you a lot of bonus gauge. So, we have to team up with Demix for this. We get frost gems, uh, recipes, and all that good stuff. So, let's go to Halloween Town. Alright, now first things first, check around over here. And there's the Unity Badge. Always check around when necessary. That way you'll be able to find things. We got a Skater Bomb. As you can see, my new Prestige Gear has quite the devastating combo. And it knocks away enemies rather well. So Prestige Gear, good choice. It also doesn't have the stupid double hit that I've been having with the previous gear. So, something's up, get a Gust Shard. And let us find this dual blade and eliminate it. Oh, that was fast. Yep, dual blade's just another recolored Zip Slasher. It's actually weaker than the Zip Slasher, surprisingly enough. Right, so Ordeal Badge. I wasn't supposed to get it that way, but oh well, I will accept that. Ooh, I can get a Frost Gem. But for right now, let us go and grab it. And let us deal with the Dual Blade. Dual Blade's pretty powerful. Not as powerful as the Zip Slasher either. It's kind of weird. This is in like sort of a limbo. It's bigger than the Zip Slasher, but... It's not nearly as powerful as the Zip Slasher. So, size doesn't always matter. And this Prestige Gear is taking quick work of this Dual Blade. Oh. It's also killing the Heartless. Kind of doing friendly fire. I wonder if, is it possible? I don't know if it's doing friendly fire or if that's Demix. Uh-oh. Alright. Throw the bomb! God damn, that was powerful! And we get a lightning gem from it. That was a powerful bomb. So, that deals with that, so let us take care of this skater bomb. Nice, powerful prestige gear. Kind of glad that I made this. Looks a lot like the gear whose name I'm forgetting, which I really shouldn't be forgetting. And this is how Glide works. So, let us grab the Ordeal Blazon badge. Look around for that other chest by chance, and there it is. So, open it up and get an Aerial Recovery Level Plus badge. And what's this? The Raven. Special little hot list that will give you rare items like iron. Congratulations, you can make more rings. Not that that's really necessary. Alright. So, let us RTC. Already on a roll. Four minutes in and we've already completed a mission. But something's telling me the next mission is going to be taking the entire episode. Oh, so close to leveling up. So, that deals with that. Another... 
another slot releaser, and everything's dealt with. So, day 176. I know it doesn't feel like we're halfway through the game, but I swear we are halfway through the game. So, let's talk to Syx once again, and let us head back to Halloween Town to collect hearts. So, no other mission is available. So, let us go and collect hearts. We have to watch out for snowy crystals. Well, I'm pretty sure our prestige gear will do better than our previous gears. Probably not as good as the nimble gear would have. And just like last time, examine everywhere when looking for heartless. So this balloon right here, look at it and get two creep worms, which are adorable because they die in one hit and they're like the easiest heartless to get. So I spend more time in this mission than I should. The reason for that this time is because I'm going for a full mission complete. I don't know why I'm constantly going for full mission complete, but I am. But as you can see, we have bones, which means we have to use zero once more in order to find the hidden heartless around Halloween Town. It's an annoying mechanic and it's something that's not going away as long as we're on Halloween Town. I wish it would go away, but it doesn't. Oh, great. Mega Shadow, this won't give me part of for my mission. But it did give me a dark ingot, so maybe it's not all lost. You can use that to make a keyblade. Alright. Let's look around for more heartless. We got another bone right here. A balloon. Nothing, just bugs. Another bone right there. This mission, they put more bones than you would need, so keep that in mind. Unity badge right there. You gonna go and get that chest, Roxas, or you just gonna go and jump around like an idiot? Uh, looks like you're just gonna go and jump around like an idiot. Big surprise there. All right, so let us head off to the graveyard. See what we've got. That looks new. Sounds good to me, Jack. All right, so they give you these pumpkins here to find, to use for these lanterns. These lanterns could be lit with either that or fire. I choose to use fire and use up my fire magic like an idiot. I'm not too bright, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, this thing works well on these guys. Gonna just let that explode. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker. Take that, search ghost. Okay, nothing. Fire! All right. Fire! Why am I not using the pumpkins? Because I honestly did not think about the pumpkins at the time causing a residual effect and causing fire. I'm that dense, ladies and gentlemen. I'm that dense. All right, so that opens that up. So, let's go on inside. And we've got more lanterns, but more importantly, we've got a chest containing a gust gem. Right, it looks like I could have examined that. And... Snowy crystal. Gonna let that explode on the snowy crystal. Or not. Never mind. Good old fire. And then I noticed, wait a minute. No, I'm. No, I'm just wasting my fire magic. Good job. So here's me thinking, okay, so how do I do this now? Wait a minute. There's 
pumpkins. There's pumpkins around here. And they cause fire explosions. I think I'm putting two and two together. And I have, have I got it yet? Have I figured it out? It's like watching an, it's like watching a baby try to put the square hole, the square cube inside the round hole. Yes, I, I, I finally have figured it out. And I'm coincidentally slapping myself on the forehead because I wasted my fire magic when I could have, you know, used the pumpkins. Right? Boom! There we go. That unlocks that door. And I'm still on fire. That's not good. Okay, the good. I'm no longer on fire. Gosh darn it, every time I come here. Oh no, not again. Roxas hit it back. Okay, good. You dodged out of the way. And, yep. It's what you think, ladies and gentlemen. We get to fight Lock, Shock, and Barrel again. So great, we get to teach these kids a lesson. Three. Now, pretty much they each have different abilities like how they do in other Kingdom Hearts games. Um, I believe Barrel will throw pumpkins at you. Uh, Shock will spin. Uh, lock? I forget what he does. Right, so that takes care of Shock. So let's take care of Barrel because he's throwing these pumpkins at me. Steed's gear is working very well against them. No, I guess Lock throws uh, pumpkin bombs at you too. Right? And there we go. That beats Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Pretty easy. I expect them to be crossing their fingers behind their backs right now. You little shit! Little shits. Well, they're doing property damage to um, Halloween Town. You know, we are just giving Jack idea after idea after idea. We should go to a patent office. But that takes care of Lock, Shock, and Barrel. So, open this up, get a Blazing Jam. Go over this way, and you can see Zero is over here. So, why don't we give him a bone once we get this chest right here. So open this up, get a Thunder Recipe. All right, let's give a bone to, or not, I guess. What am I gonna do? 
Oh, I'm getting the balloon so I can get the hover ghosts. Right. Deal with them. It's been a while since we've dealt with Heartless. Here we go. That takes care of one of them. Come on. Nope, get over here. I love the lunge forward that the prestige gear does. Because it really closes in on Heartless, especially these ones that like to run away from me. Right? Let's use a balloon. Get a skater bomb. Two, three. Nope. Oh, stupid JPEG image pumpkins. Oh, there goes the skater bomb. Bye. Silly little skater bomb. So silly. All right. And now for another skater bomb. Two, three. Now, there's one thing you should do with these bombs. First things first, hit this one away. Secondly, you should take a pumpkin bomb. Am I gonna do it, or am I gonna do it by accident? I think I'm gonna do it by accident. Hit a pumpkin bomb by where the wall is. Where Lock, Shock, and Barrel threw their pumpkin bomb at and it'll create a shortcut back to Halloween Town. All right, so it looks like we got a place to examine right here. Up oh, more hover ghosts. I mean, it's interesting to see the search ghost model return again, but hover ghosts are the most like annoying enemy in this game when they try to get behind you and then pick you up. Like this. They almost grabbed me. All right, lightning gem. We got one of these from the dual blade. Interesting that the hover ghost drops them. Drops in this game are just so weird. There we go. That deals with them. So let us give another bone to zero. And have him search for more heartless. Yep, this is what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Searching for heartless. For another, like, seven minutes. I know, it's boring. But we got to search for hots. All right, JPEG Pumpkin gives me a skater bomb. Nope, I don't want to. I want to deal with the skater bomb, not with zero. There we go. Oh, looks like we got ourselves a frost gem. Let's give another bone to zero. Let's go and grab another one while we're at it. All right. Where to now, zero? Over this way, huh? Ah, another JPEG pumpkin. JPEG pumpkin reveals a skater bomb. I am locked onto zero. Now I am locked onto the bomb. Hope we don't drop the bomb. Boom. There we go. Give him the bone to zero. One more heartless and we'd be done, but I'm going after full mission completion. I still don't know why I do that. Like, it's just instinctual for me to do that. To just complete the missions. Like, to their fullest. I'm not going after Sora, so I don't know why I do it. It's weird. All right, so examine the wall. Ah, snowy crystals. Siege gear is already working wonders here. Come on, blow it up, blow it up. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha, sucker. All right. Siege gear works very well on the snowy crystals. Like, really well. Especially compared to the last gear we were using. This is a devastating attack. Oh, good, you put out the fire. I'm no longer on fire. But now I am on ice. Right? Kill the snowy crystal. Pretty much the rest of the heartless for this are gonna be snowy crystal. So bring a lot of fire magic and don't do what I do and waste all your fire magic when you're trying to light lanterns when you could use exploding pumpkins. Roxas is a derp. Alright. 
Now lead me, Zero. Lead me to my next heartless. Is it in here or is it out over there? It's out over this way. Okay. All right. Where is it? Right here. Okay, now these ones are all grounded, so I don't know why it was the last mission to where I had to jump and get them into specific angles in order to be able to get the Heartless to spawn. That was annoying. This is more manageable. All right. Oh, did not mean to do that. See, I kind of freaked out right there because I realized, oh no, is Zero gonna end up, you know, not pointing out where the Heartless is now that I've left areas if I screwed myself? Nope, I haven't. He's pointing at the next location. Which... Okay, I stand corrected. I had to jump. Right. For ghosts. There we go. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three! Ah, ah, ah. Here we go. And what was that? I accidentally hit a pumpkin bomb near where Lock, Shock, and Barrel threw their pumpkin bomb, creating a shortcut for us to go in the future. Good job, past me. You did something by mistake. I hope you're proud. Why, yes, I am future me. Thank you. Right, so looks like we've got no more heartless inside the graveyard, so let us go into Halloween Town itself and look for some more snowy crystals. This game likes to use snowy crystals a lot, I think. All right, Mega Shadow. There we go. Deals with you. Get another dark ingot. Ooh. Making it easy so that I don't have to spend money on these things when I make keyblades. Ah, Jack's house. It's infested with Heartless. Well, that's not good. Oh, Creeper Worms. I like these. They're easy to kill. So, one more Heartless, and we should be done with the mission. And I believe the last one is a Snowy Crystal. I know I've been saying Snowy Crystal, but and they've not been Snowy Crystals, but I have a feeling this last one's a Snowy Crystal. I don't fully remember these videos because I recorded these so long ago. And there's the last chest. So open this up. Get a frost jam. Sweet. Yep, this mission has more bones than you need. All right. And they're, nope, they're just creeper worms. I guess I was wrong. Again. Here you go, Zero. Have some bones. This is what happens when you give Zero bones and there's no more heartless. He just shakes his head. So, that deals with that. So, we are done with Halloween Town for now. So, let us RTC and get the heck out of Halloween Town and away from these kids that like to throw pumpkin bombs at me. So, RTC. All right, there we go. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Roxas 1359. Next time, we're gonna get ourselves a new mission for 358 over two days. See you all next time.